So I'll show you my every time I wear makeup, makeup routine, which is about twice a week. <laughs> um, but since I last shared with you like my favorite makeup products, so many things have changed. I feel like I've completely um, stripped back my makeup routine and yeah, I'm really happy with the products that I'm using at the moment. This literally will take me about 10 minutes in the morning. It's a very natural, um, no makeup, makeup kind of look that still looks like skin. Did that make any sense? So I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Refi Brow Sculpt. You will notice there are a lot of products in my makeup routine that are from Refi. Um, I just love them. Absolutely love her products. So I'm just gonna brush this through my eyebrows just so they stay in place. I only use a very little bit of this. My eyebrows are so long at the moment. Um, <laughs> they literally are like this. I feel like I've got some kind of whiskers on my face. So I don't wanna like brush them up because I'm scared they'll actually touch my hairline. So I just put a little bit of this on and then with the brush that you also get with the brow sculpt, I kind of just go in that direction instead of going up. So guys, you're gonna have to excuse how out of breath I am and um, how nasal I sound. A new pregnancy symptom, I feel like at the moment I'm adopting a new pregnancy symptom every hour of every day, but new pregnancy symptom is, I feel very, um, congested all the time like i'm really bunged up all the time but i don't feel like i've got cold but i sound like i've got a cold and i can't breathe i literally cannot breathe i said this in my last vlog i've got asthma so i'm kind of used to just not being able to breathe but i had to take my inhaler so much more so next to my eyebrows i'm going to use the refi brow pencil i use this in medium and i just go through my eyebrows and fill out any like little gaps and just make them a little bit more full. Okay, next up, a new favorite product which I discovered um, kind of like over the past month is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Oh my goodness. I see so many people talking about this and it's so worth the hype. It's such a lovely product. Um, it's, I'd probably say light to medium coverage, but oh God, what it does to your skin is just so nice. It almost just gives you like this really glowy filter. It's lovely, I absolutely love it. Um, I have already popped some moisturizer on my face, put on some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I love to use under makeup because I find it just adds a little bit extra dewiness. So all I use of this is two pumps on the back of my hand. I use the shade, Five neutral and it's perfect. I did fake tan last night as you can probably tell by my hands and the difference between my hand and face and this is perfect for my like after fake tanned foundation shade. <laughs> so I'm just going to really buff this into my skin. So I've just done half of my face just so you can see the difference. I feel like it just wakes you up. Um, I feel like this side is so much more glowy, so much more just like awake. This is zombie side, this is awake side. And I'm not really like a massive lover of foundation. Anything on my skin that feel, like if I feel like I have makeup on, I hate it. I think it's just because I'm so used to really not wearing makeup now, that if I have something on that feels cakey, um, or just is uncomfortable, I can't stand it. And this one's lovely because it's so lightweight, 
honestly feels like you've just got like a little layer of moisturizer on. Okay, next I'm gonna pop on a little bit of concealer. The Too Faced Born This Way concealer will forever be my favorite. I did buy the wrong shade. Um, I got shade Cloud. I usually use shade Almond. This one is very light. So I literally use like a tiny little blob here and here. And that's it. I kind of like it being a bit light though, because I feel like it just illuminates my face and also a bit bare. Anywhere else today? No, we'll leave it at that. Okay, next we have my favorite product in my makeup bag. If I had to pick one thing, it would be this. Um, and this is the Refi Beauty Cream Bronzer. Oh my God, this is so good. I have two shades of this. So I mainly use shade Sand to just add a bit of bronziness to my face. But then I also have the slightly darker shade as well, which is tan. And I use this maybe if I want to like contour a little bit more. But what I will say is if you are considering getting this, get the brush as well. It works so nicely. So I take quite a lot. And let me show you how just seamless it is on your skin. So I literally just pop some here and brush upwards. And as you can see, literally no effort, no trying to blend. Look how just seamless it is. This brush is amazing. This bronzer is amazing. Next, I'm going to use a cream blush. I have two shades from Refi. I have the Citrine, um, which is like a really gorgeous kind of like orangey color. This is really nice if you like to have like a really bronzy makeup. And I also as well recently bought rose which i'm going to use today and you only need a very little amount i'm just going to pop this on the highest point of my cheekbones just to kind of like give a bit of like a lifted effect also pop a little bit of blush on my nose and then i just blend it out with my fingers okay and then for powder i am going to use the charlotte tilbury loose powder this is in shade i'm not sure fair medium and the only place I'm going to pop powder is under my eyes just to stop my concealer creasing and I do feel like I like to have a little bit of powder there and then I'm also going to take it down just into my smile lines and around my chin as well. For mascara I use the Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal this is amazing so affordable as well you can get it from look fantastic i think for about eight pounds i'm having a bad eyelash day i'm not doing this mascara justice today do you guys ever get days where just like your eyelashes look like just like flies legs some days they look nice and some days they look like this and i'm like why what am i doing wrong Okay, time for my favourite lip combo ever. I am using the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. This is always sold out. Um, but one I found that's really similar actually, and just as nice, it's just a tiny little bit lighter. Where is it? Also a little bit more expensive as well, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury Liner, which needs a sharpen. Um, what shade is this? Why can't I see today? Iconic nude. Um, so yeah, these two are my favorite lip liners. Lip liner on dry lip. Ouch. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. This is very light on its own. Like I always wear lip liner when I wear this one because it kind of, if I put it all over my lips before and it's kind of made me feel like I've got, like gone back to like 2015 when I used to do my makeup and actually actively used to get Dream Matte Mousse and rub it on my lips to create foundation lips. Why did we used to do that? So I like to just pop this one kind of in the middle as it's a little bit lighter. And I feel like those two shades go really nicely together. As you can see, like it's just a really nice warm kind of nude tone so that's my every time i do my makeup makeup routine and i will leave everything linked down below um like i said this is these are my new makeup bag favorites which i can't see changing anytime soon because they're just i feel like they're just perfect um nice natural quick and easy makeup that doesn't feel heavy at all perfume of the day i think i'm gonna go for 
Jo Malone pomegranate nor this is very much like an everyday scent for me um, it will always be one of my favorites I feel like this is the scent that made me fall in love with Jo Malone and also as well actually another one of my faves is Baccarat Rouge but I kind of save this one for more special occasions when I'm actually going out the house outfit of the day I'm wearing this really comfortable knitted dress I love knitted dresses at the moment I feel like they are just very easy to wear nice and warm but they're just nice and loose especially on my forever growing bump which I feel like is just getting bigger and bigger by the day like it actually pokes out now Oh, can't believe it. Um, but yeah, this one is from H&M. It's one of my favourites. It's a really nice length, just wearing it with some slippers. Yeah, just super cosy and comfortable for a day at home. <laughs> homemade granola that I made in my last vlog. I also actually created a little recipe card which I've saved in my highlights on Instagram under recipes just in case you want it all like written down but I think I'm gonna make some more maybe tomorrow because we've probably got like half a portion left and this is my new favorite thing to have every single day so nice and it's really filling and also really healthy as well so it is that time of the morning when I take my vitamins I usually always take my vitamins with my breakfast so I mentioned in my last vlog that I was taking the folic acid and iron vitamins throughout my pregnancy I'm actually going to try out now the pregnancy gummies because these have got a little bit of everything in there to keep you really healthy whilst you're growing your baby yeah if you are pregnant um double check with your midwife before you start taking any vitamins just to double check um, because every single pregnancy is different so with the pregnancy gummies you take two of these a day these are mixed berry flavor they are delicious literally taste like little sweets um, and these pregnancy gummies contain a little bit of everything like I said that you need they have folic acid in they have vitamin D and C they also have vitamin B12 in to reduce um, tiredness which I've been feeling a lot of recently and they're also vegan friendly as well so yeah if you are pregnant and you're looking for kind of like an all-round multivitamin I guess then these are really great gummy to take but yeah my vitamins have such a huge range of products if you aren't pregnant they have literally something for everyone a few of my pre-pregnancy favorites are the multivitamin gummies to be honest everything from the gummies range <laughs> i've got so many gummies in the kitchen um multivitamin gummies the apple cider vinegar gummies are great if you are on a little bit of the health kick and you're trying to get in lots of healthy things they are really good and they're a lot nicer than actually taking um apple cider vinegar um also the hair skin and nail gummies and the coconut and collagen vitamins they are great if you're going on any kind of like skin journey they just really help to make your skin feel really tight and plump and glowy so yeah i will leave a link down below for my vitamins definitely have a browse because like i said they have a little bit of something for everyone i also have a code which is Gemma, and it will get you a huge 55 percent off definitely worth kind of like stocking up on all of your favorites when you can get them for half price spotted the cutest thing in the whole entire world oh she is so cute hello hello sorry i didn't mean to wake you up can I touch you? Oh, how cosy does this hammock bed look? I want one for me. <laughs> Sorry, but cats just live the best life. Imagine, imagine this being your view all day. Laying on a cosy little hammock. Here he is. In his man cave. <laughs> Soon to be baby's playroom. 
Jamie's getting turfed out into the garden, yeah, which he is not mad about. Jamie, you're well excited to have a garden office. <laughs> Don't lie. I'm not excited to build it. <laughs> So come on in actually, let me show you what I've been up to. Okay. Today, today is This is what I call Jamie's pit. Yeah, my pit. Jamie's pit. It's uh messy. Chaos. <laughs> I need to so does anyone else have a pile of paperwork they just gotta go through and get rid of like hundred percent of it's it. It's literally a dreaded job. Guys, look how look how much progress the orange trees made. It's got huge. So these... <laughs> Still inedible. They're looking kind of wrinkly as well, Joe. Yeah, I, know. I only just watered it yesterday. Because <laughs> I, I hadn't been here for so long in this office. Look at them. Yeah, I know. Then that goes down there and it. Jamie! Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. Well, that's rotting away. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> but yesterday, this looked awful because it hadn't any water for a while. It was like, oh, look at that one. That one's still. Jamie's got a bit of a habit of killing plants at the moment. <laughs> I can't talk about that. Though. Tilly likes to eat this one, so this one's looking a bit. <laughs> Worse for wear. So I'm deconstructing one of our mailers to see. So I can make a bit of a template for it, you see, for the new design. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I've been the new designs. Always new designs, always fresh, fresh, fresh new designs. <laughs> I told you. I've been watching too much Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares. You I sounded know. like Gordon. Fresh, you want all the fresh. By the way, I know exactly why Gemma came down. Why? Because I said I was going to do a taste test of energy well, drinks. Guys, I was upstairs what? and he said I'm going to do a taste test of energy drinks and I was like, oh, I'll come down. He's got one. That's not a taste test. What I meant was, I've already had one energy drink today. I can tell. <laughs> I'm literally living off caffeine at the minute. It's not a good one. So um, what's this new one you've got? He's been so to the one. shop, got some new energy drinks. Oh, don't, <laughs> don't put that out there. Please. If you want a healthy, happy life, don't drink that like 30 of these in a day. Well, I'm still happy, I'm worn out. I'm not healthy. I'm, aged about 30 years. I'm not healthy. So, what flavour is this one? I don't like, I've never liked energy drinks. Fruit punch. I'm actually, do you know what? I'm surprised at how steady my hands are after so much caffeine. <laughs> what are the top notes? Fruit. 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 Fruity. Um, quite. Powdery, quite like oh. a you know, like love heart. Mm. Here she is, she Tilly Pops. She, Tilly loves my office. Tilly Pops, it's because it's a little sun trap in here. She loves the sun. I do also intake water as well, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> I'm not just a caffeine fueled monster. Do you want to see my scent? No! Why do you have your aftershaves in here? Because we've already discussed this. I wasn't allowed to display them in the bathroom, so <laughs> I made a look. There's one that's missing actually, which is actually upstairs in the bathroom. Right? The reason he's not allowed to display go, aftershaves. For the camera. <laughs> the reason he's not allowed to display aftershaves, not because I'm mean, is because at Christmas he got loads of new toiletries, loads of new scents. You should have seen the windowsill. It was covered in just products. I went in there and I was like, Jamie, this, this just can't happen. Because how are you meant to clean around products? There was like 20 products on the windowsill. Just put there. <laughs> the king one. <laughs> just gone upstairs just to get his other aftershave. Oh, it's not show and tell. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> oh, Teddy's come to join. More like Teddy's come to annoy his sissy. They're always chilling in here, to be fair. Oh no, Teddy's seen oh, a thing no. on the wall. It's a reflection from your camera screen. <laughs> Everyone knows about this because he's constantly jumping around in the background. Look how gigantic this cat is, guys. Big boy. Hmm? Look at your silly legs. Oh God, no one wants to see that. <laughs> or so I've been collecting a few new home bits, um, some nursery bits and I'm also on a baby clothing buying ban because I bought 
enough i don't need any more it's just so cute and i can't i can't stop but i've got to stop now because i've got all the clothes so starting with zara home how cute are these shelves i've been looking everywhere for like the perfect coloured wood. So my current office is going to be baby's nursery and I thought these would be beautiful to have on the wall to keep books in. I'm planning on having like a little reading corner here. So the cot's going to go here and then the reading corner is going to be here. I've got a beautiful new chair and footstool and um, a lamp that kind of like goes over the chair. Can't wait to get started on the nursery. And I thought these would be lovely to go on that little bit of wall with lots of books on, some cute cuddly toys. Um, I've also seen as well, on Pinterest, you can either have these shelves this way and pop books in there, or you can have them this way and pop bits on top and actually hang little clothes here. So you could like set out their little outfit of the day on there, which I thought was cute. I got two of these. Then I also got a few new bits from the, there's like a new range on Zara which is called Citrus Infusion and it comes in this beautiful packaging. So I picked up this beautiful reed diffuser, just thought it was really neutral and I think this will look really nice in the living room. Also smells amazing, it's like a perfect spring scent. Um, I'm trying to bring like little elements of spring in the house at the moment because the weather's just been like so sunny and crisp it's making me think of spring so I'm trying to add nice little fresh bits around the house then I also as well picked up the matching candle which is huge love again I think this is going to look lovely on the coffee table then I also picked up this vase in the Zara sale I think this was like 12 99 and our windowsill in the living room is currently bare because it did have Christmassy bits on and I feel like since it's kind of been autumn and then Christmas the house does feel a little bit bare I'm enjoying like the the minimalistness of it but I do think there needs to be like little touches of stuff so I thought this would look really nice on the living room windowsill and then last thing I got from Zara Home is some new face cloths. I plum in love a new face cloth, guys. I know that is quite quite a sad thing to, you know, get excited about, but there's just nothing, nothing quite like a fluffy new flannel. Okay, moving on to Zara Mini, it's the place to be. I am obsessed with checking it every Thursday. Thursday is when they get in their new stock, by the way. Um, so every Thursday I'm on there. I got some really really cute bits um as I said in my last vlog I'd kind of focused on buying three to six months and six to nine months I don't know why because that's like a year away but those were kind of like because there was a lot of wintry clothes around um but now there's more spring summer obviously baby's going to be born in May so yeah we need some like nice summery clothes so I picked up <laughs> I love baby clothes. This is this feels really nice and cool as well, like linen, so it's really thin. And I also picked up as well this romper. Why are they so cute? They're just so tidy. Again, perfect for warmer days. Look at this outfit. So this is the top. And then this to go over the top. So, it looks like this. Oh my god. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? <laughs> and then the last item of clothing I got from Zara because, listen, I couldn't resist. I could not check out without having this in my basket. Oh my god. Sorry, I know it's six to nine months and he's not actually going to be able to wear this until December, but... Okay, a few other random interior bits that I bought that are from different places. Um, first thing I got was this that I've wanted for ages but I've been waiting for it to come back in stock on Amazon. Is this book, The Architectural, I think I'm saying that right, Digest. Um, at 100 centuries of style. I've wanted this coffee table book for so long. It's so big and again, this is gonna look lovely in the living room with my new candle and diffuser. So I'm excited to kind of like 
lay that out later and then a few bits and bobs i got from hudson home you guys know i love hudson home um i really want to give the hallway a bit of a refresh because i feel like the bits in the hallway at the moment are kind of just like making do since there was christmas bits there so i got a few bits for the console table first thing being this gorgeous neutral vase this was in the sale and i picked up these flowers these gorgeous dried flowers to go in the vase i thought that would look so nice because it will go with all the colors um in the hallway We've picked up these <laughs> kind of random but i've seen these style on hudson home's instagram account and they just look so nice like on coffee table books and stuff like that and then last but definitely not least i picked up some faux eucalyptus also as well bought this giant eucalyptus plant from mason de Mont, and this is actually for the main bathroom um i've just popped it here so i can show you guys and i'm gonna see what it looks like in the bathroom i'm thinking of popping it in that corner over there because i just feel like it needs needs a little bit more greenness in here so we'll see what that looks like so yeah, plan for now is I want to find new homes for everything that I've just shown you guys. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of a wander around, see what I want to change and give everything a little bit of a pre-spring refresh. <laughs> I imagined it to look but I think I like it I like that there's a little bit of green in here now um, like I said before we are looking to change the bathroom soon we are looking to get different floor tiles so we're gonna go for like a like a stone a neutral stone floor tile I'd love to change this for a wooden sink unit um, with some stone sinks in there as well different taps and then change this bit of tiling here to either match the floor um, or just change this top bit here because I feel like <laughs> this section of the bathroom is kind of a different vibe to this section um, so yeah that's something we're looking to change very soon along with this mirror as well probably get like a nice maybe like a round mirror <laughs> prefer so ignore those little bits there so this is option one I've got both of my books here and then the new Zara candle on top I like it I feel like it looks very plain or let me show you option two and then this is option two what do you guys think I like both of them but I feel like I might prefer the candle on its own um, but what I liked about this little amber candle is it kind of went with the dark font on here and also kind of bought bits of the fireplace like so it wasn't just completely neutral and then dark hmm i went for option one i felt like the zara candle just looked more simple um okay job for now i need to get on with it because there's been that niggle in my mind all day that's been like don't do it today don't do it just leave it it's fine no it needs to be done so I am finally going to be sorting out my bathroom drawers. I've just opened one and listen guys, I'm embarrassed. Why must I be like this? 
So this is my current skincare drawer and it's just a mess. I'm trying to justify it. It's just an absolute tip. Embarrassing, hey? <laughs> oh my goodness. All of these drawers are like this, all six. So they all need a huge declutter, reorganize, clear out. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is gut the drawers. <laughs> it's gotta be done. Um, I'm gonna do it drawer by drawer because I'm scared if I get it all out, I'm gonna have that like feeling of dread of what have I done? Why have I started this? So I'm gonna start with my skincare drawer, make a pile for, this has been open for about three years, Gemma. It's gotta go. Um, things that I use every day, which I've got some drawer dividers from Amazon. Let me get them so I can show you guys. Um, which I think will be nice because then I can hopefully keep things a little bit more organized. They look like this. I'm really doing that justice, aren't I? Let me take you in here and put you down. I feel like I'm all over the place. So the drawer organizers are like this. <laughs> As you can see, they're adjustable, so they fit. Um, smaller drawers or bigger drawers. The only thing I didn't think about, does anyone think when they order from Amazon or? So, these drawers are very deep. So I'm a little bit worried this bit isn't gonna be deep enough, but I ordered two boxes of these. So I might just double them up. The other drawers, I feel like don't really need sections because one of them is candles and bath bombs. And then the other, this one is just flannels actually. So that'll wanna be a nice easy one to do. The other two are just like shower gels and hair stuff. So they can kind of just be a little bit more organized. They don't really need the dividers, but I thought this would be nice for my skincare drawer um, because I've got so much of it and I don't use all of it every day. It would be nice to have like an everyday section, a sometimes section, so for like face masks or certain types of products. And then the last one can kind of be like unopened, unused things that I'm gonna use in the future that I haven't run out of using. <laughs> so yeah, first thing to do is I'm gonna gut everything and get rid of some bits. What an improvement. I'm so happy that I finally got round to doing this. As always, wasn't half as bad as I built it up in my head to be. So at the front here, we've got my everyday um, skincare bits that I use without fail. Um, and then the back bit, we've got bits that I use kind of like weekly, like face masks and different kinds of products. But oh my goodness, this is gonna be so much less chaotic now. drawers are done feeling very happy about that and it is now time to get started on dinner um, tonight I'm making homemade pizzas which we haven't had in ages I popped over to mum's at the weekend and we went to the pasta shop um, which sell delicious fresh Italian food so I picked up some dough so we can make fresh pizzas yeah I got quite a few bags of these I should think we're only we're only going to be making two so I don't know whether we use a whole one of those each or half I'm not sure we'll see how far out they stretch um, but these are also fine to pop in the freezer which is great because if you ever fancy a nice fresh homemade pizza you can just pour one of these out the freezer <laughs>
really long one. <laughs> what the hell? It was going to be like a flat tray. Why is it just going back to the same like tiny little pizza? Because you've got to do it. You've got to give it time. <laughs> Look, this is how you do it. Oh my god, hole in it now, brilliant. Jamie, that was that's that's what he said not to do. Oh you did it, don't put a hole in it. It can't be that thin. That's too oh, thin. Well, what am I going to do now then? <laughs> mend it, mend it. I have to. You've been watching Gordon, you don't never pour anything out of the packet. We have been obsessed. Basically we're scraping the barrel. We've run out of series to watch, so we've started. <laughs> scraping. Scraping the barrel. We've started. Gordon, if you're watching this, don't shout out. <laughs> we do love Gordon though. I'm not saying anything bad about Gordon because I love him. But we um we started watching Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares and so we're, like, we're, great, yeah. we're binging all of them. Okay, I'm quite happy with the shape of mine now. It's like a nice oval, not too thick, not too thin. Which I could say the same about mine. Right now, remember your rookie error last time we made pizzas. Putting loads of <laughs> cheese, was it no, cheese? No, tomato puree. Right. And you were eating it like... My, um, my crust is going to be immense. Why? Tell look, us. Look at how I've shaped it. Oh, nice! You've actually made it a bit thicker. Yeah. I'm going to copy you. I'm going to use your spoon trick, because last time, if you're making pizzas, Use a spoon, not a knife. Whoops. I've already got some of the crust for you. I'm going to go for a bit of cheese first, so a bit of um, the mozzarella and cheddar, just to give it a bit of a base. That's probably a good idea, actually. Yeah. A bit of mozza. Mozza. Bit of mozzy. Bit of mozza C. Mozzy C. Mozzy C. Then, a bit of red onion. Love a bit of red onion on pizza. You have a red onion. No. Didn't think you would. Happy breath. Well, unlucky for you tonight. <laughs> okay, if we both eat it though. Yeah. Wow, salt <laughs> cheese. Cheese bay. No, cheese bay. Salt cheese. <laughs> salt cheese. Cheese bay. Do you ever make me watch? Oh, all of these cheese bay. Cheese bay. <laughs> all of these salt bay. What are they? Are they on Instagram? Oh, I'm obsessed yeah, yeah, with um, Salt Bay's restaurant. Like, I've Nasset. never been. What's it called? Nasseret. Nasseret, that's it. Nasseret. And it's like, um, I just love watching all the videos that he posts, basically. They've got pesto on. Okay. I don't know if you like pesto. <laughs> okay. I know Jamie's not on. Careful. Oh, sorry. Yeah, You're I just. destined love... to drip your up, drip it. Dip your. Oh, I'm glad you've got all the big slices of mozzarella. Destined to drip your, dip your arm. Do you want me to cut some more? I've got loads in the fridge. No, no. Do you want some more? No. Right, next. Next up, we've got. I'm gonna have a little bit of peppers. Are you gonna? I'd probably. Pro is that? Is that? Oh, oh, yes, Gemma. I know you'd be happy about oh, that. Oh, then. Here we go. You're very specific about your olives on pizzas. Why? Because you always moan when they're whole and they're not cut up. <laughs> Did you chop these ones? Yes. Oh, thank you. Check that out. So I'm having quite a lot of chicken on mine because I do love a bit of chicken on pizza. And then I'm going to finish it off with olives. Do you want any basil? Hmm? Do you want any basil? Give it that authentic taste. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, I think we should put basil on halfway through probably because it might burn. Yeah, we'll get them out and put some more put basil on when you put your yeah, have a little slice of basil. Yeah, good idea. Look at yours. What's wrong with mine? <laughs> I'm real hungry. I'm just like, get everything on that pizza. Why is it so messy? What? Is there an, is there an open cheese or is it just this one? No, you open that new one. Here's mine. We're going to call it the fully loaded pizza. Jamie just came up with a fabulous name for it. And here my is Jamie's. Yours looks a little bit plain. Yeah, no, it's not cooked yet. So what's yours called? What's your pizza name? Three ingrediento. <laughs> what does that mean? Three ingredients? Yeah. <laughs> the finishing touch. <laughs> Pizzas are in the oven. Jamie is making a side. They're What's your side? I know, that's why I didn't use them. 
What side are you going to make? Um, I'm going to make olives with feta <laughs> in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> How imaginative your pizza to be ready like. <laughs> Mine's really epic. Look at Jamie's crust. Yeah, no, yours is alright as well. Wow. Yours is like over spilling. I like all the toppings. Look at that crust, say what? Wow. You haven't seen a crust like that before? Not quite. It's like a bloody croissant. <laughs> So here we go, here's mine. James just putting his back together. I was investigating, it's, I thought it was sweating. <laughs> a sweating pizza? <laughs> Your crust looks unreal. Yeah, no, it might be a little bit soggy. I hope no, not. No, the crust we, is actually good. We can always bit. pop it in look, a little look bit. Look that. On. That looks like a good pizza to me. How is it? Mmm, bit doughy. <laughs> we can put it back in the oven. No, it's fine. I think this is so thick though, I think the middle bit will be fine. Mm. Yummy. Mm. I can confirm our pizzas were delicious. So nice. Um, I keep doing this thing at the moment where I'm like, ravenously hungry all the time that I make loads of food and then I can eat like a slice of pizza um, I really didn't eat much at all but that's good because that means pizza leftovers tomorrow is there anything better than cold pizza but I'm finding at the moment because I just feel so stretched <laughs> that I feel like there's not really much room for food so I'm so hungry all the time but then I eat and I feel full up in about 10 seconds and I feel like there's just, there's just no more room in the inn, you know? There's a baby in there. Um, and I find in the evenings, like I said earlier about not being able to breathe, in the evenings, I am literally in bed like, <gasps> I struggle so much, but I've got a midwife appointment this week. So I'm gonna mention my, um, my struggle to breathe because yeah, some days it's really bad. It really makes my back hurt sometimes because it's like a lot of pressure. So I'm just about to jump in the shower, get ready for bed and then I'm going to watch an episode of Euphoria tonight. I started watching it yesterday. I've heard so many people talk about it. Um, so I started it yesterday and watched two episodes and I'm really, really liking it. I've been really looking forward to watching another episode today. Jamie's going to be doing some computer work for a little while this evening. So Euphoria is like my solo um tv program because I, I just i know he would not like it it would not be his vibe i also as well absolutely binged and completed the other day um the woman in the window across from the girl on the street is that it basically it's on netflix it's in the top 10 and it's got a really long title I'll find out what it, what it is and put it on screen, but um, I finished that yesterday and it was so good. Really enjoyed that. That was a solo one as well. I, I started watching it with Jamie, um, but it said it said he said it reminded him of Desperate Housewives and it wasn't his thing. Um, we've also started watching Sinner as well. We have attempted to watch Sinner about three or four times, but have never been able to get into it. But we're on like episode five now and we are really liking it. And there's quite a few seasons, so we're trying to get into it. But yeah, guys, we've literally run out of everything. We've watched all the decent like thriller films. We've watched all the decent like crime um, series. There's just nothing left. Nothing left to watch while watching Gordon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and I will see you all in my next video. Night night. <laughs> night night. My voice was so high pitched then. Night guys. Bye. Bye.